One of the major health threats in the world is the spread of tuberculosis. Although the disease is a global problem, most undetected cases are in sub-Saharan Africa, which carries the greatest proportion of new cases per population. Tuberculosis, or TB, is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, a bacteria that primarily affects the lungs and is spread from person to person through the air when someone with lung TB coughs, sneezes or spits. TB is curable and preventable. However, undetected cases of tuberculosis increase disease transmission, morbidity and mortality. Traditional methods of TB diagnosis take too long and in many cases prove to be ineffective. Delayed diagnosis increases the risk of disease transmission and makes monitoring of drug resistance more difficult. Previously what would happen is that for about 50% of TB patients to be diagnosed, they would usually have to wait four to six weeks um, for something called a culture to grow. And the reason that took so long was because the TB bacteria can take a very long time um, before it can be detected. More rapid testing can result in more patients being treated promptly. Ideally, patients would walk in for diagnosis and walk out with treatment. A group of researchers from the University of Cape Town in South Africa investigates the development of point-of-care tests for TB to reduce the time needed for diagnosis as well as provide better ways of treatment at the same location. The study is part of the TB NEAT consortium funded by the European and Developing Countries Clinical Trials Partnership. Point-of-care tests uh, essentially are tests um, that can be used at the point where the patient receives treatment. In other words, the sample uh, does not have to be sent off to another laboratory and then the results reported. The challenge of TB diagnostics is to rigorously evaluate new tools in field conditions and that the promising ones are cost-effective and able to reach the populations that need them most. The way diagnostic tests can be improved is firstly uh, to diagnose more cases of TB, to diagnose them faster and to diagnose them in a more affordable way. An example of this is computer-assisted x-ray diagnosis. So one of the European partners is Dr. Braun van Ginnigen and he's developed from scratch computer-assisted technology that can read x-rays. So one could envisage a situation where remote clinics in Africa can send their x-rays uh, um, into a central computer where it will spit out the probability of somebody not having TB or possibly having TB. Gugulitu is a township 15 kilometers from Cape Town, South Africa. To evaluate new methods of detection, the community clinic is taking part in a study. With the assistance of community leaders, patients suspected of having tuberculosis can benefit from quicker tuberculosis test. We're running a trial to look at your sputum. We want to like you to cough into a pot and then we're going to check your sputum for TB. So what this machine does is that it enables you to make a rapid diagnosis in a matter of hours, but it allows you to do that in patients we previously could only be diagnosed by culture. What we have seen is that the machine generally operates very well by a nurse, and that's a nurse who has no previous laboratory experience. A person provides a sputum sample in a container, um, and then the cartridge is ready to be inserted into the machine. An hour 45 to two hours later, you have um, a result. Um, and that result uh, tells you whether or not there was TB detected. It tells you whether or not it thinks that there was rifampicin resistance detected, which is very important because in countries like South Africa, there's a very high prevalence of drug resistant TB. Many TB patients live in areas with limited resources. In these often poorly equipped clinics, the use of technology, such as computerized TB diagnostics, means many patients can go into treatment sooner. However, TB detection can be complicated by many factors and not every method is effective. For example, when patients are HIV positive. Therefore, the TB NEAT consortium also studies other methods that can be easily used in clinical primary care in Africa. The other major study that we're doing 
is to evaluate a new test which is like a little pregnancy test. You can imagine putting a few drops of urine on a little strip and the red line comes up to say positive or negative. And we always wondered would we ever have a test like this. This test has a place in the diagnosis of TB, uh, but it's only useful in HIV infected people uh, with, with advanced immunosuppression. But in fact, this is the very group that presents to our hospitals in Africa. TB diagnostics in Africa is of great public health importance. Through the findings of the TB NEAT study, relevant guidelines for improving case detection rates of tuberculosis may be provided. The TB NEAT program has thus far resulted in improved capacity for TB diagnosis by training African researchers and bringing together African sites and European institutions. These collaborations are needed to overcome one of the greatest health threats to mankind today. Because the major issue in Africa is that there's a massive delayed diagnosis. Many people come for their initial visit, they may provide a sample initially, but for whatever reason they do not return. Um, so I think that potential to uh, change practice and provide same-day treatment initiation is probably the most powerful and exciting thing about this project.